And basically, I'm in mama bear mode. And I think any mom would. It's just kind of what we do. <laughs> we go into protective mode, and this is my kid. And I don't want her to be in pain if she is in pain. Hey, Mountain Family. How's it going? I am so happy to be back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I have a real camera, and my editing software works. Ah, oh, am I a real YouTuber now? It feels like it. Kind of feels like it. I'm going to try to do daily vlogging. We'll just see how that pans out. And if not, then I'll just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But I would really like to do daily vlogging. We'll just see. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to be real honest. Today is basically going to be a catch you guys up day. A lot has been going on in our lives and I got a lot to talk about. So yeah, that's what today's going to be. So starting from the easiest update to the hardest update, and if you saw the title of this vlog, which you probably did, <laughs> then you know where we're headed. Me and Devin, I'll update you guys on us first. I'm doing pretty well. I'm on my bipolar medication. My moods are stable. I feel pretty much the same every day. I mean, unless something happens, like you're about to find out. I mean, anybody would react that way, so it's nothing out of the ordinary. I'm really so happy about it. I just, I've been wanting to feel quote unquote normal <laughs> for a long time and it feels, it feels good. But besides that, I'm doing pretty well except the stresses in my life, which we're getting to. So I, that's basically me. Devin is kind of doing okay. Quick update on Miss Carly over here, who is on my laptop. <laughs> Uh, I only have really two things to update on her. Uh, she's in school and she loves it. She goes Monday through Thursday to a pre-K. She's there from about 8.35ish in the morning is when the bus picks her up until about 3.35ish when she's dropped off and she just, she loves it. She wakes up in the morning and she's like, go to school, go to school. And she tells me that she has friends. Like, See, friends. And it's just the cutest thing. <laughs> I'll probably end up vlogging it because it's adorable. And I'm enjoying it because there's going to come a time when she dreads getting up for school. I remember that. So it's coming. And the only other thing I can update on is she has a new obsession. She loves My Little Pony. We have found My Little Pony. She's on the computer right now looking at My Little Pony toys. She wants to watch what she calls ponies and look at toys of ponies. I mean, I guess it's going to make Christmas easy, <laughs> but that's hey, Mommy, what we're watching a lot nowadays. What? You see ponies? Yeah, she sees ponies. I'm going to go ahead and give a quick update on Miss Andy here. I thought about doing a formal eight-month update, but... I mean, I just didn't want to do this update and then another update, like tomorrow. It just felt like something I could push into one. So I'm going to. Miss Andy is eight months old and she is not showing you guys her face at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eight months old. She crawls, but not on her hands and knees. It's more of a scooting fashion, but she gets around. Like the girl can, she can move. She eats anything from eight to 10 ounce bottles. It just depends at a time. She's doing that like every four or five-ish hours. She doesn't really finger feed that well. She doesn't have this grasp. Uh, the pincher grasp figured out yet. It's a this motion still, but she tries and we're getting there. She's practicing a lot. So because her, you know, finger feeding isn't that great, she does a lot of baby jars. She is eating one baby jar, a full one, so it's like four ounces once a day. And she does a lot of babbling and her favorite word is dada. It's what she says all the time, da, da, da. So that's pretty much the update on Miss Andy. I don't really have much else, at least right now, uh-oh, to update on. But I will do a formal nine month update next month. Oh, oh no, it might be time for a nap. It might be, it might be. And now for the longest update and the hardest one, really. I'm gonna try really hard. Not to lose my crap. <laughs> so about three weeks ago, Kinley had an ophthalmologist appointment. We were referred by her pediatrician. We saw him August 22nd. She saw the ophthalmologist September 
Oh gosh, it was the late it was late September. I just can't remember the exact. It was the twenty something. I do remember that she was referred because her left eyelid was droopy, and he said the pediatrician that her left eye was pulling to the right. So I thought we were going to the ophthalmologist to see if she would need glasses or if she would need a little bit of surgery to just repair that muscle that's pulling her eye, and that would pretty much be that. Well. <laughs> It's not what happened at that appointment at all. Not at all. Instead, the ophthalmologist told me that Kinley has something called Horner's Syndrome. H-O-R-N-E-R apostrophe S. Her left eyelid is indeed droopy and her left pupil is smaller than her right. He told me that it's either congenital or she's developed it. Preferably, <laughs> we'd like for it to be congenital because then she would just have it and that would just be pretty much that. Not really a whole lot we could do. But we looked through all of her baby pictures from six months old and younger, and we've concluded it's not congenital. So she's developed it. It was a really short appointment. We basically got there. He examined her eyes, told me about Horner's, dilated her eyes. We went back to the office. He said, nope, she doesn't need glasses. She's fine and then told me, you know, it could be congenital or not. We looked at baby pictures and that was pretty much the end of it. <laughs> he didn't like give me a whole lot. Um, he said he wanted to do a urine analysis and we pretty much went on our way. We did the urine analysis the next day and it was sent off to a lab because he wanted it sent out. He didn't want to <coughs> use their labs. Oh goodness, you all right? Yeah. Okay, and when I got home from that appointment and I'll admit pretty much every day since, I have researched and researched, researched some more Horner syndrome. I pretty much did what any mom would do. You know, you want to know what's wrong with your kid. I didn't realize it talking to the doctor because we just didn't go into it a whole lot. It was a really short appointment, like I said. But a lot of Kinley's past and current symptoms match what could be causing her Horner syndrome. And I'll just go ahead and tell you guys the symptoms that she has right now and used to have that would match some of these things that could be going on. Like for instance, Kinley has always been developmentally delayed. She didn't sit unsupported until she was about eight months. She didn't crawl until she was 10 months. She didn't walk until 16 and a half months. She's now technically 26 months old. She doesn't walk up and down stairs. She crawls up and slides down. She doesn't dress herself because she doesn't have the balance to stand on one foot and put another foot through a leg hole. So she doesn't dress herself. She just recently started jumping like both feet off the ground jump. But even then it's a process. Like she stands there, she gets ready to jump. She does the jump, she lands, and then she has to re-steady herself again. Whereas most kids her age, they're just jumping. It's just a jump, jump, jump. Kinley doesn't really do that. <laughs> a lot of things for Kinley, it's like a process. It's like she has to think about it. You can almost see it. Like she's thinking about the movements that she has to do and how she's going to balance herself. Also, if you were to like accidentally bump into Kinley, like you turn around, you don't realize she's there and you accidentally just kind of bump into her a little bit, she just falls. There is no, oh, catch my balance. She doesn't do that. She just falls. And I'll give another really good example that just happened today. Today, she was just standing there looking up at her dad like this and she tilted her head too far back and just fell. Just boop, fell right on her butt. Didn't catch herself, didn't steady herself, just fell. That being said, Kinley has a lot of balance and coordination issues. Around the same time that the Horners showed up, because I looked at all of her previous pictures, I looked at everything and the earliest picture that goes the farthest back that shows her Horners pretty well is around 12-ish months old. I think the picture is like two weeks or so after her first birthday, so it was around that time. And really not long after that, Kinley started having these vomiting episodes. I have this on a past vlog. I'll show it to you guys. Oh, Kinley, are you okay? I don't think you're done being sick. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to clean her. She used to have vomiting episodes like that all the time. It would always be late in the evening, like 6 o'clock, sometimes a little bit later, and she would just vomit 
everything. I mean, it would just be one big vomit, and then like a little bit later, 15, 30 minutes later, she'd do it again. And she would just keep doing it for like two, three hours. But it wasn't the stomach virus, because if it were, everybody else would be getting it. No one else got it. It was just Kenley, and it was just at night. So it was just the weirdest thing, and nobody could tell me what's going on or what's causing it. They just said it could be reflux. That's funny. She didn't have reflux before, and it just magically went away. Like, it just came, and then it went. I want to say, when, when was the last time she vomited? Try to rack your brain, Kristen. Come on. I want to say 21, maybe, months old. That sounds about right, actually. I've been really concerned with McKinley for a while. Like, last year, we saw a neurologist. You guys probably remember, if you've been subscribed to me long enough. And that neurologist basically blew me off. She acted like I was wasting her time. Oh, all kids just reach milestones at their own time. All right, so that was basically like a waste of time. Over the summer, like around May, June, I was starting to think maybe, because I'm guessing here, Kinley might have like a muscular dystrophy or myopathy. I was looking into that because there's something going on. Like Kinley's developmental delays keep getting pushed back further and further and further. I just said it earlier, about eight months old, she sat up unsupported and then 10 months crawling, 16 and a half months walking, we're past two years old, she should be doing the things that she can't do. She should be there. Come to find out, I'm totally wrong, <laughs> but then again, I don't have a medical degree, and she has Horner syndrome, so it could be her brain. Like, there's something in her brain that is causing all these issues. Now, I can only guess. I can't give you guys anything exact. Because I don't have an MRI, I don't have a medical degree, <laughs> I'm a mom who has researched and googled the crap out of this and can only give you my best guesstimated, uneducated, educated, I don't know, guess. She either has a brain tumor in her hypothalamus region, which is back here, she might have a tumor back there, which would explain her balance and coordination issues. It would explain her developmental delays. She could have a brain stem cyst. Your brain stem is back here, basically the back of your neck. <laughs> or she could have Chiari malformation. She does fit a lot of those symptoms, like developmental delays and the random vomiting that she used to have and the uh, balance coordination issues. She does fit a lot of them. One of the big symptoms that I don't know if she has or not because she she's two and she can't tell me, hey mom, I have a headache. I, I don't know if she has a headache and a headache would fit all of that, <laughs> but I just don't know. I can't ask her. She won't tell me. I can only guess that she may or may not. And just because she's not in excruciating, laying on the couch all the time, crying all the time pain, doesn't mean that she's not in pain. It could be a dull headache. She's been dealing with this for probably a year, maybe more. She's two, so she's probably used to it. Maybe she just got used to it. Maybe the vomiting was a reaction to something going on, and now, over time, she's just used to it, which kind of frightens me a little bit that my kid is used to pain. It makes me feel bad, but it could be a possibility. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, because I have to in order to tell you about the craziness that was today. During the last ophthalmologist appointment, he said, you know, once we get the urine analysis back, we'll just try to push up the next appointment to get her an MRI. I was like, okay, great. The urine analysis came, comes back, it's clean. I ask if he wants to push up the appointment, he tells me no. The next appointment that we have scheduled is 22 days away. No, no. No, I'm not, no. So I was gonna call back the office and a couple days later, it was two days later, the office beat me to it. <laughs> they asked if she needed an MRI, what hospital I wanted her to go to. I said Columbus, it's a children's hospital called Nationwide and she said okay. And I asked her, hey, um, can we get the appointment pushed up because my daughter's gonna need an MRI. So I get a call today and I'm told by the receptionist that the doctor does not want to do an MRI anymore. He doesn't think it's necessary because she's not in any obvious pain and her urine analysis came back clean. And it took every bit of my self-control to not freak out on this receptionist. It's not her fault. She's just a messenger. It's not her fault. But I really wanted to because 
I don't have a medical degree, and even I can come to the conclusion that a urine analysis isn't going to tell us a whole lot. <laughs> and I've looked up Horner's, and there's a great possibility that whatever's causing that is in her brain. So I had to tell this receptionist all of Kinley's symptoms because I didn't get to tell the doctor that. He didn't give me time. So I had to tell the receptionist all of Kinley's problems and I said, listen, I'm, I want a referral. I want a referral to Columbus Children's and I want the MRI. I basically had to be a jerk about it, but it's my kid. Oh my gosh, I was so livid. Oh, I was so livid. Like, Okay, the urine analysis came back clean. Why wouldn't you just refer her? I don't understand. Why would you make a snap decision based on no symptoms that you know of that she doesn't need an MRI? Okay, but you know that something's causing the Horners. Like, she didn't just get that out of nowhere. She wasn't born with it. I didn't think about it because I don't know what parent sits and thinks to compare their children's pupil sizes. I just don't know how many people do that. I never thought to do that. I've always noticed her eyelid, but I never really paid it any mind because Kinley has other issues, other problems, and I just didn't want to feel like I was overly picking on Kinley. So I just never said anything about it because I never thought it was a big deal, but I feel really guilty. I'm not even going to lie. I have a ton of mom guilt that I should have noticed this a year ago and this could have been fixed a year ago and it's not and now we're here. I have now gone from you know very passive and oh it's okay to now I'm angry and I'm gonna be a very good advocate for my kid and I'm going to get something done. She's gonna get an MRI and we're gonna find out what's causing this Horner syndrome. I mean, if I have to go to Timbuktu, I don't care what I have to do, but somebody is going to help me and someone is going to help Kenley. I mean, basically, I'm in mama bear mode and I think any mom would. It's just kind of what we do. <laughs> we go into protective mode and this is my kid and I don't want her to be in pain if she is in pain. She wanted to go play with her sister. <laughs> okay, so I think I have everybody caught up. That's basically what's going on in our lives right now. I will definitely, absolutely keep you guys updated on what's going on. I mean, obviously, <laughs> I like vlogging, so y'all are coming for this ride. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. Bye, guys.